Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Dom Three Hundred. In today's video, this is kind of towards my subscribers who are from the age of let's just say twelve, or from the age of eighteen. So it's basically a story, not really stories, like I said, but basically white lies that teachers tell students about everyday life, from the topics of drugs all the way to college. Let's talk about it. So today's topic. Well, number one topic let's talk about is college. Let's get that the way. When teachers talk about saying, especially for high school, they say, oh, high school is easier than college. You better be prepared for college. College is way harder than this. They don't give two shits about you. There's a yes and no for that. Yes, some teachers don't give a shit about you. But some teachers just like, hey, you want to slack off? It's your, it's your shit. I don't care. But some are really supportive, though. But college is not that hard at all from for the financial part yeah it's not hard but overall college is not hard um there's no homework really so that's a clap um there's a lot more studying you can do and also writing stuff down so notes are really important in college so until you say college is harder than high school is pretty much vice versa college is easier than high school high school is harder than college I mean, when I was in high school I was stressing out so much about project homework and just classwork itself it was just difficult I seen people from my high school that I knew since middle school either drop out or went to another high school okay, it was just so much pressure just to keep focused and stuff the grading system in college or not even college my bad not even grading system in high school even, even from elementary school is shit in college if you just do your fucking work and do your class, like you just do your fucking work and your project, you're golden. Like you pass that fucking class. But I just feel like school itself, not from college, besides from college, is harder. So that kind of proves my theory. College is easier than high school in a way. So the second topic I want to talk about is the drug. Let me repeat that. The drug issue or a drug topic in high school and I met your school in middle school so when when I was growing up in um I think not even growing up but when I was attending middle school in middle school they gave us this little dare book if you guys remember the dare books where it's like they give you a fucking pamphlet with dare on a shit and stuff like that I might even post it in there if I remember the shit but besides that point they give you this book it's all about the effects of drugs from alcohol to smoking from marijuana and you know, I'm not gonna be ashamed of that. Yeah, I do drink time to time. Mainly for all New Year's or other occasions. But that's a time for later. Smoking, uh, I wouldn't say like, yeah, I'm a big heavy tobacco nicotine smoker. Like, I probably do it like a couple of times. Probably in a month, maybe. Once or twice. And after that, I just give word of it. Weed, Coke, or heroin? No to Coke. No to heroin, marijuana, different story. But besides the point, we're focused on tobacco. So they talk about a shit ton of tobacco shit in high school and middle school, and I was gonna be like, oh yeah, tobacco's bad, don't be doing this shit. And as a kid, that shit freak you the fuck out, man. Be like, man, I don't wanna be doing this shit. I don't wanna be smoking this shit. Get this shit away from me. Even as a grown up today, I still hate people smoking tobacco. It's just disgusting. It's like, how will you do this to your body? Like, stop it. Like, give me a cigarette, I'll just extinguish for you. See, we're all happy now. But the white lie is this, is that teachers do smoke, even though they're trying to convince you not to smoke. Remember this one time I was, um, I think it was in high school. There's probably countless stories I have about a car teacher smoking, but this one kind of stood out for me. So let's name this teacher, Miss Gabrielle. So Miss Gabrielle was an English teacher that I really fucking not really in no sexual way but I liked it because of profession and everything else. So this one time when I was learning about middle school and everything else and the middle school told my cigarettes the bad everything else, anyone just assumed that teachers were this perfection of success and never smoked a cigarette in their life. So one time I was it was like second remember this clearly seven something, seven forty five in the morning, on my way to school, probably gonna be fucking late. My mom was driving me and we were getting really close to the school and we started this red light. 
and we was gonna, and I was just looking around, be like, uh, oh, we'll be late. I was just on my phone texting my girlfriend at that time. So there's one time, I look, I mean, not one time. So I was looking around, and I spotted this crowd next to me. It was Miss Gabrielle. I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, I'm that socially awkward person, be like, we'll make the first move, be like, hi, I see you in your car. But I'm, I have to stand there and be like, okay, and I glanced away. So when we were ready to pull out, I saw something in her hand. And I was like, oh, it might be freaking self or anything else. But when I looked closer, I couldn't believe it. It was a goddamn lit cigarette in the car. I was like, holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, we can't be doing that. You can't be, like, that's not natural. You're not supposed to do that. Like, cigarettes are not supposed to be meant on teachers. I'm like, ugh. I gotta tell somebody this, but I'm not in a little snitch and I kept it to myself. So, I guess the moral of the story is don't listen to your fucking teachers. But what I, what else can I say? For anybody who's attending middle school or middle school or high school self, it's what I'm gonna say. Be strong. I know it's stressful. I've been through it, I have them back multiple times. You guys can get through this, and after that, you guys have two options. Chill and relax for the next two years or so, or go to college. Now, I, I got this. <laughs> what I'm gonna say now, but if you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. Hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to know when I post up. Without, mm, uh, without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys later. Lord Diamond now. See you.